Well guys, I'm really grateful. Uh, yes, after yesterday's workout, uh, legs. Um, I don't know how to put it across really because during the start of the workout, I didn't have um, the right pre-workout. Uh, I thought my head was not in the game to train. I felt reasonably okay, but I just thought I didn't have the energy. I just didn't think I gave my all. But on the whole, looking back at the videos, it was actually quite good. But in the moment, I felt like uh, Amy um, and Mick really got the best out of me yesterday to push a little bit more on because uh, if I was on my own, I would probably would have not. I think I would have been gone. I would have been gone before even the half an hour. You know, I wouldn't have even lasted half an hour because my head was not in it, and I couldn't tell you why. Um, I think it's something that happens. You know, sometimes you go to the gym, you want to smash it, you want to train hard. But your body, your mind is, is just not, you know, it's just not, it's just not happening. So now I think that's where training partners, finding a good training partner can be able to help you and push you through even like, you know, as much as getting a personal trainer. Somebody on the outside that can see that, you know, you can do it. It's just that your, your headspace is in the wrong place. And my body was willing to do it. But the way I felt in my head, I felt like weak. My lower back was hurting. Um, you know, I don't know. You know, it was one of them days, I think because in the, as well, it was cold, you know. Um, you gotta warm up. I ate everything, you know, I was, I was, I slept well. But it is what it is, you know. So I had all the reasons why I was not having a good workout. But uh, the thing is like, that's why Amy, Amy were pushing me and Mick because when I was squatting at the end um, okay let's just start from the start when we started the leg extensions we did about three warm-up sets like normal and um, obviously last set stack it and a big drop set uh, comparing my drop set this week to last week uh, this week felt I felt after I, I felt like I was weak I didn't give it my all uh, I thought last week was better but Amy said nah you're actually better this week but it was just a lot harder maybe because i don't know because of the day but she said it was good i mean my legs were still hurting after the drop set um but i don't know mentally i just thought you know what that's a half half fast um drop set there and then um hack squat i mean hack squat was good uh, I, again when i when i got on the hack squat with 60 my legs were just hurting uh they were actually crying crying out blood if i may say but they were they were actually all right and uh, i did my best set if not um, my best my best weight ever which was uh i think three plates and uh, five with a two and a half you know and i think i caught more than 10 reps you know because uh, i went to failure it basically I, she pushed me till i couldn't <laughs> till i couldn't uh, push that way back up i had to sort of like leave it on the floor do you know what i mean um good set well fought and uh yeah and I moved on to the leg press and that leg press I don't really like it to be honest with you um, it's not it's not really my go-to leg press my favorite leg press so you can't really stack that it's all about technique and even Amy when she did her set she was like I felt more of my lower back so I think there's a few things we need to adjust on that uh, leg press and, um, and work on the technique technique because as the weights moving coming down the plate that you put your foot in moves so the, um, it's, it's kind of weird really because a normal leg press, the plate where you put your feet in always stays in the same plane. But at the top, as the way, as, so on a normal leg press, if you can picture a normal leg press and the, when, the, when the weight comes down, it stays in the same plane. But as this one comes down, the plate sort of straightens itself out so that you, it feels like you're pushing forward first and then it sort of rotates up at an angle. So yeah, it's weird. Uh, I think you get what I'm trying to say here. So every time you go up, you go back into the leg press kind of um, starting point, a normal leg press. But then as the leg press is coming down, it starts to turn and straighten up. So it's more like you, you push forward, then up. Weird. Uh, yeah. So yeah, but then anyway, we did that. And um, I think I did, uh, Amy did uh, three, three plates, I'm sure, for her top set. And I did, uh, four and a half plates for my top set so you know 
it was relatively good, but you know, um, it was hard, hard, hard to get comfortable uh, with that machine. And after that, we did uh, some squats, didn't we? Yeah, we did some squats. Yeah, so we went over, did some squats, and uh, you know, three plates. As I was warming up again, I don't know. I need to just talk to myself. As I was warming up, everything felt hard. Sixty felt miserable, terrible. 120 uh, felt okayish, and then Emil said, "You gotta go three plates because you've done that before." And I knew I've done 160 for six before, so I was like, "Right, let's go 150." Uh, because last week I did 150, I think I got four or five reps. So I was like, "Right, today I have to get at least uh, six reps with uh, 150." So whacked it on, and then Amy went and got Mick, and then as soon as Mick turned up. I know it was go time and then as soon as I unwrapped the weight and I did my first rep I felt good again uh, and I think it's just it's just a, everybody when when everybody's around the squat rack shouting at you and they are telling you to just go one more or you're strong keep going that whole environment that that's created by everybody um, it's it was just humbling to be part of because at, at one point I didn't want to squat I don't want to move the weight but at the same time all of them people being there it's just making me give it my absolute all like okay if you're gonna complain about you can't do it just do one or just do whatever you can so I kind of respect not respect I, I kind of I don't know I kind of like that I kind of like that in a weird way whereby like you know when 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 you're when you when you're when you're down and when your hat when your hat is under the table when your head is under the table not your hat you know what I mean um, you need somebody there to pick you up and that's your training partners and that's and, th and those people are, are what makes training and everything th that's what makes the difference anyway so if there's one thing that i can share with you guys today is like training partners or even personal trainers or even um anybody really that comes and says oh don't speak don't skip leg day come on one more rep four more those are the people that you need you know Yes, they're throwing you into the fire, but you know, that fire is what you need. You, you need that fire, whether you want it or not, you know, put your feelings to the side. You gotta get your reps in to grow. Because afterwards, I can't believe how good I feel now. I feel like, oh my God, this is what it's all about. Because you're a totally different person when you're in the moment. And then when you look back, you think, oh my God, wow, I just did that. And yeah, it's amazing. So yeah, guys, find some training partners. Um, Mates in the gym, talk to people, uh, give spot. Um, if you see if you see anybody doing something wrong or they're kind of like flagging today, you might not know them, you may know them. Give him a hand. Just tell him like, hey, you can do it. Just push him, and everybody will get strong in the end. All right, okay, cool guys. I'm gonna leave you there, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah, buddy, like we, baby.